A trip to the Grand Canyon is always memorable, but tonight the adventure is even more special. We go on the Arizona road with Bill Leverton as he takes us to the Grand Canyon, showing us how its beauty is helping strengthen the life of the physically challenged. Ah, the Grand Canyon. Such a dwelling place of endless moods and endless secrets and endless mysteries incised deep in the heart of three billion years of Earth's geologic past. The Colorado River charges through the canyon with a vengeance, a watery assault that lasts over 200 miles. For those who dare to voyage on these waters, it's a furious dash on an angry path of white-crested froth, interspersed with melancholy and still spells, surrounded by panoramas so intimidating that your personal existence almost has no meaning. The Colorado River through the Grand Canyon is remote and in many respects dangerous. That's why it's always been a challenge for strong men, men strong of body and strong of mind. But what if Oh, what if you aren't very strong and your legs won't even hold you up and you have serious physical disabilities? And sticky mud is a major test of everything your body can muster and, like David here, you want more than anything else to feel the magic of riding the waters of the Colorado River. And so there's a bunch of folks that haven't had the chance to, to, to feel that magic up until most recently and, that, and so I, I got to thinking a couple of years ago, hey, you know, why, why not? There's a bunch of people that I'd like to take down this river. It took Jeff Aronson two years to put together the idea of special trips for folks who would take a lot more attention. It had to be approved by the National Park Service and it had to be something a river running company would want to do. This year, canyoneers of Flagstaff worked with Jeff and the city of Phoenix, modifying two of their boats, adding more days to the trip, changing the way their trip is normally run. We're accessing the Colorado River and the Grand Canyon uh, to folks who have had very limited or no access to this incredible place uh, up to the point, this point. What Jeff is saying translates to a dozen folks, many of whom have physical challenges so great it almost breaks your heart to watch until you get on down the river with them, live closely with them, and listen to them. Well, we're going to be doing that in our special series of reports. This is Bill Leverton on the Arizona Road in the Grand Canyon. At 10 o'clock, Bill gives us a closer look at their adventure as they continue to tough it out at the Grand Canyon. Now tonight, we head out to the Grand Canyon with a group of people whose strength and love for life will put a smile on your face. We meet up with them on the Arizona Road with Bill Leverton. Come join in their adventure where they learn that their physical challenges only make them stronger. Among others in the dozen participants, David Schaefer has cerebral palsy. Wanda Eller is almost totally blind. Mark Ewer is mentally retarded and visually and hearing impaired. Roseanne Bolin has cerebral palsy and has had 27 different operations in her life. Fabio Conley has a disease I can't even pronounce. And Richard Baker has Down syndrome. On first arrival, it seems a litany of tragedies in life too terrible to bear, too disabling to allow them much freedom in life. Well, sometimes you couldn't tell they had all those problems, at least not from here. But at first look, it does seem inadvisable to take a dozen men and women with serious disabilities and send them down a dangerous river, even if there are as many non-disabled persons along to care for them. There is a very real element of mortal danger. There's a, a debate that has been going on for years, and uh, basically it comes down to the right to risk. And just because they have a disability or an illness doesn't mean that they don't have the right or the need to experience some challenge and some discomforts to, I mean, you have to go through a little bit of that to get to the uh, gold at the end of the rainbow, you know. There's a big hole up there. Yeah, see a big hole up top? See all that white stuff up top right in the middle? We don't want to go there. It concerned me as we were going into it, and it, it concerns me every day that we're doing this. If something went wrong, uh, it could go very wrong. It takes everybody's attention and all the skills and talents you have to, to uh, get things back to normal. So we're very, uh, being very careful not to let anything even start to go wrong. 
<laughs> it has been a good day. Laughter echoes up and down the canyon walls. There are no problems, and the long days drift into starry nights and campfires and songs, and all that special magic that settles over anybody who travels this way settles over us. Tomorrow brings another day of adventure on a wild river in a deep, deep canyon. This is Bill Everton on the Arizona Road in the Grand Canyon. As Bill said, tomorrow you're not going to want to miss the Channel 10 News at 6 o'clock. Bill's going to take us back to the canyon to find out what this memorable trip has done for these adventurers, both mentally and physically. Several weeks ago, a special raft trip splashed its way down the Colorado River. A dozen folks with severe physical and mental challenges took the trip through the Grand Canyon. Bill Everton rode along with them, and tonight he continues his look at this emotional trip with a remarkable group. This special trip for the physically challenged took twice as long as a regular trip. It was a complicated, slow process, loading and unloading the participants and their equipment, and we didn't go far each day. Side trips to see some of the wonders the Grand Canyon offers away from the river were prolonged operations, but the emotional results, ah, oh, you couldn't buy for a million dollars. Like when they walked Wanda, who was almost totally blind, up to Deer Creek Falls. And all she could start doing is screaming, saying, I can see it, I can see it. And there's not, not everything she can see. The lighting has to be just right. She has to be at a certain position. And when she could see the waterfall, the whole trip was worth it and seeing the moon and uh, all of the earthly things and the rocks, I, I can see some of them and I feel the sensation of the curvature, you know, the, the, the formation of the earth. I feel when it's closed in and when it's open. But oh, I love the rapids. And oh, how Roseanne Bolin loves those rapids. <laughs> Rose sat in the front all the way, took more water in her face, and the rest of us combined, Rose has cerebral palsy. Sometimes I, you know, drink something warm before going to bed to help relieve the pain, but every night back home, I, I go to bed in pain. But since I've been on this trip, I don't know if it's the weather or just the atmosphere, or what, but I have not been in pain at all. If I have to use the term, is physically challenged because I feel like all of us in life are challenged in one way or another. I mean, you may be able to see my disabilities. This is true, but I, I don't see your fears, and to me, that's a disability. We float on down a muddy river, the muddy that caused this river to be named Colorado. Rocks, high walls, deep shadows, a moody slow passage where time has no meaning. This is Bill Leverton on the Arizona Road in the Grand Canyon. Great story. Bill will wrap up his trip through the Grand Canyon tonight on the Channel 10 News at 10 o'clock. Just proves that we can all enjoy the great outdoors here in Arizona. Absolutely, no question. Far from New York, several weeks ago, Bill Leverton spent seven days on the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon on a remarkable rafting trip with a dozen severely physically and mentally challenged folks. Now, it's a river historically traveled by the fit and the strong. But this special trip was designed to extend access to this wild and beautiful place to those who have very special needs. In his final report, Bill records the deep emotions of some of those travelers on the Arizona road. They have things wrong with their bodies most of us can't imagine, and some of them walk through life in their own little worlds, and Sandy is probably dying of cancer. But they don't feel sorry for themselves, and they don't want you to. They just want you to know they are alive, and this trip through the Grand Canyon is their biggest accomplishment. I want to be like a normal kid. I came home in almost tears because I wanted to play Little League Baseball. And my mom said I couldn't. So this sort of make up, this trip sort of makes up for that. This is a spiritual trip. It's an inner trip. The healing I expected was no miracle that I was going to get out at the Grand Canyon and be cured of cancer. But the, what I was hoping is to find more inner peace um, through this timeless place, a uh, better understanding of myself and a little better preparation at times I, I have. 
Our trip has climaxed at the granddaddy rapids of them all, Lava Falls. Ah, just speaking the word should strike fear in your heart. A 38-foot drop in a very short distance. But our boatmen drive us through with ease, and we are safe. It's so great that I shouldn't be the one to ever do it again because there should be someone else who can experience what I'm experiencing this week. I don't know how any, how the folks that are going to be running these, that run these trips every year, I don't know how they can say goodbye and then come back and do another one. For me, uh, this is going to be a trip that I put up on my wall. Finally, Roseanne Bolin kept a journal during the trip, and in that journal, she wrote a poem about our youngest traveler. Grand Canyon stories are true. The walls touch a blanket of blue. The rapids are rolling us on through for a world we hoped for but never knew. The layers of rocks are history in the making. All the colors are breathtaking. The stars are bursting with joy, and there's one little boy who loves the water like a fish. And the canyon trip was his biggest wish. This is Bill Everton on the Arizona Road in the Grand Canyon. A lovely story. It is. It's nice to see that uh, those who have special needs can get out and see the great things that we have here in this state. It's a great story. Right now.